Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and we are back playing Medieval Dynasty, and today we are going to jump right into building our house, as well as the hunting lodge, and we're going to go find our first villagers. Um, we're also going to really quick build... <clears throat> but first, really quick, we're going to build ourselves a rabbit trap and get that mission done so we can move on with the mission. So let's go ahead and grab, like, say, 22 sticks. Sure. Why not? We're going to go to uh, build. We're going to go to craft. That's the wrong thing. Building. And then we're going to go to... I know there is... A button somewhere that's for traps. Is that furniture? Yeah, traps. Rabbit trap. We're gonna just place a rabbit trap right there. Oh, didn't even. Oh, it took 12. Okay. Alright, so we need 10 stones, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab up the stones. We're gonna get this built up, You and I'll catch you guys after it is fully built. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh oh. Oh, cart. Alright, so now we have the foundation down. I also collected enough uh, stone to uh, finish this foundation as well, so we're going to go ahead and set this out. Bam. Alright, now just time to get a buttload of wood. Thankfully, we have an iron axe, and we also have some skill level in our uh, durability to help us not lose as much. Um, survival. What else do we have? Strongest oak, health. I do want this. That will help us out a lot. That'll allow us to see sticks and stones whenever we are using this little vision. So, see, so yes, as you can see, there's some sticks, stones, and plants. Those are berries. Um, yeah. Alright, let's get to chopping some wood. ahead and like the house before change everything to wood because like I said in the last video we want a nice village so we're just gonna go ahead and do this for them Now this one should be a lot easier because it is just a wicker one, and we have plenty of sticks to use for this just from cutting down trees, so it'll be a lot less uh, wood just for this, and I can't really do anything to change it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get all this stuff done. Alright, now we got both the hunting lodge as well as our second house done. So now it is time to go and grab... Oop, seems like we are dying of thirst. So we're going to go ahead and run down to the water and grab some liquid. I was not paying any attention to that. So, what we're going to do next is we are going to head to town. We're going to go to Gest uh, Gestovia, which is just over there, the same town that we started off at. Um, we're going to see if there is a male and a female there that we can house in that new house that we just built. We can get someone working at the waterworks as well as someone working at the hunting shack, so we can get both water as well as uh, ch -ch 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 food. That's what I was looking for, the word I was looking for at least. Um... Do I not? I could have sworn I put all my stuff in here. Where did it all go? This is not the right house. Oops. Alright. Yep. Here we go. That's the right one. I'll go ahead and put the bucket over there in that, uh, our little water thing. Um, 
I'm already forgetting what it's called. We're gonna sell the wool fabric. So we're gonna bring that with us. We are also going to be selling our wool thread and I'm gonna keep the meat, keep that meat as well. We also have a mission to make a spear and a knife. So we're gonna go ahead and make the knife because we have the stuff for that. The spear, I do believe we just need to grab some logs. So we're gonna run over here and dig up some stumps that's left over from our little tree chopping spree. One, oh look, there's some logs right here. One, two, all right. Where's the spear? There it is. We can craft, it only takes one log, all right, that's fine. And it wants us to hunt an animal. Let's see, I know there are normally, there's one, a moose. We're just gonna sneak on up to it. See if we can hit it from here. Nope. Maybe aim up a little more. We want to try and hit it in the head. We only have two more arrows. Oh. Alright. I missed horribly. <coughs> Pick that up. Let's try it from a closer angle. Alright, buddy, come on. I need you to uh, lift your head up. Got it. Booyah. Alright, we're gonna run over here. Take that iron arrow, skin the moose, get some more meat. That'll be helpful for our village. We will need to build a resource center and stuff. But I think at first we just put their uh, food and all that stuff in their storage until we get them actually getting stuff from hunting and all that. So yeah, we're gonna book our way over to Gustovia. All right, and we have made it to Gustovia. It's definitely a lot later than I wanted it to be, um, but that's all right. We are going to run over here. Oh wait, nope, chose wrong it. I completely forgot, passed it. All right, let's see what you look like. What skills you got? Nothing too great. Her production is good, and that's what we wanted to look for. Actually, no, I am wrong. Excuse me. Her hunting is good, or her survival is. Am I looking at that right? No, I'm looking at this all horribly wrong. Excuse me. Okay, this, extraction. This goes for mining, getting wood, stuff like that, hunting, farming, this is, uh, diplomacy is like trades, uh, so they can work at tavern, or they're best working at taverns or trade stalls, um, and then fishing, obviously fishing, uh, and then blacksmith are everyone, so like your workshop and all that stuff, those are the people, so I don't think we're gonna actually take her, cause she's not good with anything that we need right now, so we're going to run over to, uh, the little area right across this little lake and check and see if anyone's there that's worth taking to our village. So yeah, I'll catch you guys once we're over there. Alright, we have now made it to Barowo or whatever that is. Um, Yeah, we're going to run up here to their campfire. It looks like they have two people. They have Batilda and Nawoja. That is not good for us because they're both women, but we can at least take one of them. Hopefully, diplomacy, farming... She's a good hunter. That's good for us. Let me just wait real quick. Double check. She's a good hunter, farmer, extractor, produ production, and a diplomat. So we're going to go here. I've heard about building up. Please continue. Alright, so we have to actually build up our reputation before we can invite anyone to our, uh, our settlement. So we're going to go ahead and get some more reputation real quick. Alright, now basically to build your dynasty reputation, all you gotta do is follow the quest line. So you can either do the side quests or you can do the chapter quests, which currently all we have to do is wait until the next season, which is until the next day. So we're just gonna wake her up, talk to her a bit. Yep, I'm sorry for anyone who actually wants to listen to the story. There is a lot of talking and lore, and I apologize. Um, now I have to deliver two out of six of this ale to Unigos. Yep, here you go, buddy. Your wife wanted you to have some beer. Yeah, he rambles a lot. He is a storyteller, so warning for the people who actually want to uh, listen to what's going on in this game. 
Um, that should have raised, uh, we're at 84. I'm not entirely sure what our reputation needs to be until we can actually invite people over to our village. So what I'm going to do is just go back to our village. We're going to sleep through the night, do the next Unigo story, and hopefully end up being able to uh, invite some people over in the next day. So yeah, we'll get to it once we're back at village and in the morning. Alright, fresh new day. It is very, very foggy out. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to our mission. Alright, hello, you no, excuse me, excuse me, get out of my way. Hello, Unigost. Yes, alright. Uh, I talked to you, yes, okay, he wants us to go talk to Sambor. He's all the way over there. Did that increase our... it did. We're at 119. I think that might be worth a check. Um, so we're gonna run over to the village on the other side yet again, but first, I wanna talk to Dobrina, Dobrogina, or whatever her name is, which is Unigost's wife, and I want to sell her all of that, get some money on that, all of that, get some money on that, um... Other than that, I don't think we have anything we can sell her. Uh, I guess we could... S no, I want to keep that for our people. We're going to run up here, and hopefully, hopefully... Let's see, it should be the same people. Um, I think it was her that we wanted. Was it not? Was it? Was it? Stamina level's too low? Yes, it was. All right. Creating a new settlement. Sounds like it's looking for it with pleasure. Haha, -ha, we got it. All right. So we got one woman, um, hold on, hold on, actually, I forgot to look at her age, she is 24, okay, this is relatively young, she is in, she is within range of, uh, us marrying her, like, she's in our age range, um, we're going to head up here and go northwest to the next town over and hopefully find a male if there is a male over there that is decent at production, then, or extraction, not production, um, I don't really mind if he, if he's too old, because if he's too old, we'll just marry her, and if he's around her age, we'll just pair them together, and we'll worry about our spouse in the future. Um, now one thing to take in consideration when or with your villagers, is if you do pair people within the age limit where they can get married and become spouses and have children, the women will become mothers, and mothers are not allowed to have a job. So it is best to have enough men in the village to be able to do most of the hard work. Um, so we will have to eventually deal with some of that. It won't happen for a while. It shouldn't happen until maybe year two or three, um, when, if they are within the same age, they should be pregnant around then, and we'll see some baby, some babies two or three years after that. Alright, so from what I'm seeing, it's two guys sitting at the camp already, so that's a good sign. Let's hope at least one of them is at least level 2 in extraction. We got one level 2 and one level 1, so we're going to go ahead and take Tommy or here. And he is 27, so he is within her age range, so we're just going to let them spouse up, and they can be happy with that. So, now, both of them are unhappy. As you can see, we can see their needs and what they want and what they're unhappy about. Their mood is dropping. So, we need to put her into a house. We're going to press F here. We're going to select her this house. Yep. And then a work spot. We're going to put her on the hunting lodge. And then that is it for him. Or for her. For him, we're going to put him in the same house. So they will be sharing the house. And then we'll put him on the well. So he'll be able to do that and extract. Now, we're going to go to manage. We're going to go to hunting hunting lodge, and we're going to go to production. We want to start making some meat, so I'm going to put that on 10%. We're going to put feathers on, let's do 25, and that will be a passive income. We can sell feathers to people. This will be gained daily, 
So the total you'll get a day. Now this obviously says we are there's no tool, so he cannot get this material right now. I'm also gonna up that a little bit because we will need uh we'll need more meat for our people anyways. Um, or we'll put five percent in that and five percent in that. So there's that, and we're gonna go to extraction. We're gonna go to the well, and for now we are going to use that, and then we're gonna put that there as well. Actually, we're going to take that off, because we can't make the water skin yet until we have the tailoring table. And that's when we'll be able to automate that. So now that we have both of our people, we are going to head back to our village, and we're going to get things settled for what they need. Because they need water, they need food, and they need wood. So that's stuff we're going to have to get settled out. <coughs> All right, now we have made it back to our nice, quaint little village, or at least the start of our village. We aren't even a settlement yet. We are, let's check our management. We're a camp. Yeah, that's it. We're five out of six. We can afford one more building, which is good for us because we still need to build another house so we can build up our work shed and start getting lumber for our village. Because as you can see, we need 10.3 wood per day and that is firewood. Now, firewood, we will have to build our workshop for. Um, so we will be, we'll probably do that at the very beginning of next video. Now for the food, we just need to automate our hunter. So we just need some stone. Um, let me go into my house, which is this one here. It's closer to the road. And we're gonna see, I think I put, Stone? No, I did not. Alright, we're just going to grab some stone real quick. Let's see here. We also caught something in the rabbit trap, which I will grab in a little bit. So we need... A, I want to make him a couple knives, just so he will be good for a little bit. So I'll make him probably three, maybe four. There's a big moose there. It's a whole bunch of stone. We'll just make him a five, six. Yeah, let's do six. That works. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and craft. Alright, we're just doing six. Never mind. I did say that. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we have finished making all of those six knives. We also unlocked the workshop, which is very nice. That'll help us out a lot. Um, that is not where I wanted to go. We're gonna go over here to the hunter shack, and we should... No, they're not here yet. If we look on the map, yeah, there they are. See, they're walking over. So they were from up here. So they're slowly but surely getting here. One of them's close enough. We're going to go over here. We're going to throw all of these knives in there so they can go ahead and start collecting some meat, leather, and fur for us. The leather will help us out a lot so we can make our... Uh, oops. So we can make our... Uh, well some stuff let's see 
where, oh, Snowball, yes, that's right, so one thing I didn't mention in the last episode, two days ago, they released a new update for Medieval Dynasty, and it's the winter update, so they're allowing us to make snowballs as well in the winter, but, oh, we can make firewood, that's beautiful, um, completely forgot about that, so yeah, we're able to make snowballs, we'll have to check that out in the winter season, so I need... I need, so I need to make water skins, right, yeah, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bucket in there, that should give them, yeah, that does give them what they need, if we go to management, we're able to go over here, this is all of our workspaces right here, so if I see, I can see nothing is needed here, this status right here, it's not built, that's the only issue. So everything else is good and able to function and run. The only issue is they have no water, food, or firewood. So I'm going to real quick run up here, grab some lumber, um, and we're going to put it in their house as well as I'm going to put some food in their house too. I'm just going to dig up some stumps. Yeah, I know. We're carrying too much. We're always carrying too much. Bam. Alright, and we're going to go over here, craft, craft more. We're going to go ahead and craft down all of them. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and throw the firewood in here. I do believe, yeah, th there we go. So now they have wood enough for three days. Uh, so that's practically an entire season. And we'll get more once we build up the workshop, and that'll just constantly get us some firewood. Now, real quick, let's check, see, one of them is out hunting, the other is in here? No? The other one's somewhere, there she is. There he is, alright. Here is our little, uh, well worker, Tomir. Our hunter is out getting us some, per I hope, meat? Let's see, um, yes, yeah, she is, wonderful. Alright, so that also means we should be able to go at the hunting lodge, go to that management, and start making dried meat as well. That will help us out tremendously. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and make all of the meat that I have into dried meat, just so I can put that into their, uh, their little house so they can have some food too, because we already have some food back at the base, which I am also just now noticing that we are dying of starvation and thirst. So that's not nice or helpful, but we're going to craft all this up, and then I'll take care of ourselves and take care of our villagers. Alright, so we just finished making all that meat, and we unlocked the kitchen, which will help us out in the future once our village gets a little larger. Um, the dried meat is all up here. Going to go ahead and throw all 20 in there for them. That should give them food. There that goes. The water will just have to go away once they actually get... The water will have to go away once they actually get all of their stuff, or once they start making water and all that stuff, so that'll just have to wait. Um, we're gonna go ahead and feed ourselves, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that dried meat, go to inventory, nom nom nom, and we're gonna make a sprint down to the lake and drink from that. And, yeah, I think this will probably wrap up the video. We have been relatively productive. The water... For our villagers will definitely be a struggle for now up until we get the workshop and the wood, uh, the wood place built. Um, and we'll have to get all that done in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Our village is just starting to come together. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, shine bright, neon bright.